January 18th. It is a Tuesday and it is 18 days in a row. Um, in current events, everybody has freaking COVID. Uh, Paige just had a baby. Uh, Paige also had a baby within 12 hours of leaving work and was emailing from the, the freaking bed, I think, asking all of us if she could do anything. She was checking on the team. Uh, super admirable. Um, she's awesome. So if you know Paige, tell her congratulations. Uh, right now, it seems like so many conversations and interactions have something to do with businesses, family businesses, small businesses, and all the things that happen when we don't communicate upfront about business relationships, whether that's the difference between uh, an investor and an, and an employee, like the hats you wear as, a, as an owner, uh, how long-term if you... You know, if, if you always have to interject yourself into everything just because you started something, how you can undermine uh, growth. And pretty much just there's a lot of people right now uh, organically just, I feel like, reaching out. And, and people have similar problems. And so many of them, you know, people know how to communicate. They know what they need to communicate. But for some reason, we just don't communicate. And that seems to be the worst in smaller family businesses where you throw in, you know, mom, dad, brother, sister type dynamics. And it just seems like people, they, they can't have difficult conversations. So I'm super thankful for the path that we're kind of on here right now. It has not been without hiccups. It has not been without problems. But we are, you know, trying to communicate. And I think that so many people in a family business would do really well if they stop time early on or preferably before they got into business. And this is not just family, this is anybody. Uh, but it sat down and had difficult conversations about all the things that could happen. Uh, you know, how do you determine each other's salaries as a family? What happens if a family member is being a shithead and needs to go? What happens if somebody's just unhappy and they want to leave voluntarily? What happens if somebody wants to sell the business and somebody doesn't? What happens if, you know, good gosh, somebody dies? Uh, what happens, you know, what, what, and I think that we, a lot of us, Especially in, in really small businesses, we have these standard legal Zoom, rocket lawyer operating agreements, and we never spend time investing in these hypothetical worst case scenarios because we think it'll never happen. Uh, just like people think they don't need a will because they think they'll never die. They don't need life insurance because we're not going to die. But shit definitely happens. So, yeah, I think that's just been a lot of people have questions they know the answers to that could have been solved if they would have just brought in some outside accountability early on, had everybody sit down at a table and just talk through how a business works. So yeah, makes me more excited. I've got uh, my cousin Kelton coming to town this weekend to help me and a friend of mine that we're getting into business together on some other stuff and buying some real estate. And so we both agreed that it'd be a good idea to sit down, lock ourselves in a room with a bunch of coffee and just hash out what could happen, what the, the best and worst in, in, in our operating agreement and really define our friendship in a way that, you know, we, we can we can get through some hard times. So, yeah, if you're out there and you're you're struggling with, you know, maybe you have a business partner that's that's your best friend or your brother or your, your dad and and you love them. But there's something that's really just not working. I think the quicker that you can get some outside perspective, you know, beyond just attorney, but people that you that you really trust to help him and to find some of these these situations and and help you work through it the better because if you don't put in the work today you don't plan for it there's a chance that things get kind of nasty and nastier than they have to be so yeah that's it